Hello, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be talking about various types of video cables and their applications. Every type of cable has its purpose and was created to meet the needs of the technology in that time period. So having said that, when it comes to hooking up or patching a video system, it can be rather difficult to get things all working together, given that there's so many different cable connectors and protocols out there these days. Not to mention all the different types of signal and resolution. So I'm going to cover some of the most common video cables to help you further understand how a video system all comes together. To begin, I will start with the BNC, or the Bayonet Neal Connector. It has gained many other names over the years, such as British Naval Connector, Barrel Nut Connector, Baby N Connector, and the list goes on. It's all, it's all the same thing. It was originally designed for military use for uh, radio systems nearing the end of World War II. And it's currently used in all sorts of different applications these days, but uh, we'll just be focusing on the use in video. As you can see, the BNC cable has two female ends with a bayonet style fastener and ensures a quick, easy and releasable connection. This is why it has been a go-to cable system for so many years. The connectors themselves come in two different ohm versions, 50 and 75 ohms, to match the impedance of the cable between them. Typically, 75 ohm is used for video. It was first used for composite video, also known as SD or standard definition video. This was basically your typical TV video signal in the 90s. It became a popular cable in broadcasting and production to patch consoles, cameras, monitors, and other equipment. And could also be easily equipped with an RCA adapter to help integrate consumer devices, such as this adapter uh, right here. BNC has now been used yet again to send digital video signal known as High Definition Serial Digital Interface, or HDSDI for short. Using this protocol, you can send very large portions of information down one line, both video and audio simultaneously if desired. It can handle your 1080 signal with ease and is also being used in the new 4K systems. You can run up to 200 and 300 feet of this cable before you have any significant signal loss, depending on the gauge and quality of the cable that you're using. Any further than that, you'll have to use a distribution amplifier, commonly referred to as a DA, which enables you to run another 2 to 300 feet. When extending an HDSDI, never use a barrel connector. In my experience, they often cause distortion in the signal and they're just not good for business. 